Hello Scorpio, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a mini reading focusing on your crush. Is your crush still crushing on you? Do they still desire you? General as always guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from it what makes sense for you. Release the rest. If you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box and I will include a link to the decks that you see here today Scorpio. And as always, cross watchers are absolutely welcome. These are the two decks we'll be using for the focus messages this time around. So the first one is my self-created deck, the Love and Life Oracle. And then we'll go ahead and grab a love message from this deck by High Priestess 1111. So let's begin, Scorpio. Let's take a look and see is your crush still crushing on you? Do they still want you? Do they still desire you? All right, so grabbing a card from this deck, it contains two messages, one for the love part and one for the life aspect of things. And basically it takes a look at how relationships change as time unfolds. You know, when we first fall in love, everything is wonderful and it's like a fairy tale. And then as more and more time passes, the magic kind of fades, you know? So let's take a look and see what's coming up for you and your crush here, Scorpio. So this is the love message. I love saying, hearing, and seeing your name. The life message. I do want us to have the same last name. So some of you guys could have been married to, the, to this person, you know? But for others, obviously this is a crush. More than likely you're not married to them and you see a future with this individual and you would want to share their last name someday okay so obviously that is referring to marriage so let's go ahead and add another card from the love messages deck is your crush crushing on you all right let's grab another card here guided to this one i'm sorry that this is how things turned out okay so maybe at one point in time you did see a future with them by way of wanting to get married someday but something happened here clearly that drove a wedge between the two of you and maybe your person's really apologetic that things turned out the way it did so your plans to spend a life together it was derailed for some reason. So that's what we're going to take a look at here today. All right, so let's grab some messages from the Pining Rose Crush Edition deck. This is by Calico Moon. And let's see. Can you guys still fulfill that dream of getting married someday, having a life together? What happened? Is your crush crushing on you are they still into you i like a woman who loves and respects herself so this is a very specific message for some of you that that is what your masculine is conveying to you or whoever rep represents the masculine energy here a woman who loves and respects herself looking to get steamy okay so i mean obviously this could be very sexual in nature when things were hot and heavy between the two of you the physical aspect of your connection could be very spicy very hot very passionate but something happened here some of you guys maybe your crush is an introvert Or you could be as well, Scorpio. Somebody is. Past life love, look at that. Now, maybe when you first met this person, there was that sense of familiarity. Uh, I can't speak today. That sense of familiarity, almost as if you guys had met before in a previous life. That could certainly have been the case. You guys could have been married in a past life. I do want us to have the same last name maybe in a past life you guys did share the same last name that's really interesting you guys could have connected 
in a previous lifetime. What else, please, for Scorpio? Ooh, Twin Flame. You guys could have been Twin Flames in a past life, or this is what you represent in this lifetime. We have Love Struck. Cupid's arrow hit you guys. The love is here. The sexual chemistry is here. At one point in time, perhaps you guys were planning to get married. Or this could represent past energies from a past lifetime when you guys were together. But look at this. I need time. This could be you speaking up and letting them know, I need time. Let me grab one more message here. So if you need time, take it. But if your crush needs more time, maybe that's why you haven't heard from them. They feel this intense soul connection with you. I mean, we do have a twin flame reference here. You guys could be mirroring each other without even realizing that. I think I love you. I feel the love. I feel the love, but somebody needs more time. And you guys need to talk. There's a lot that needs to be expressed here. But because someone is an introvert, the conversation might not be as productive as it possibly could be. So let's go ahead and grab some additional messages here from The Journey of Love, Volume 1 and 2 by Bridget of Divine Essentials. What else, please, for Scorpio when it comes to this connection? Is your crush crushing on you? Absolutely, because they still love you. They love you. But they just need a little bit more time, perhaps. But that could fall on you as well, Scorpio, where it is you that needs more time, despite the fact that you guys love each other. Something happened here, perhaps, for some of you. I have a card flying. Hold on one second. We have number 11, completion. We will always be one. So I have a feeling here, for those who are in separation, life will find a way to bring you guys back together where you can be one union, two people together as one. We have number six, which is faded. I'm sure this was all meant to be. You guys were meant to be in a past life as well. And perhaps in this lifetime, you're meant to find your way back towards each other also. We have 44 dreams. I'm so proud of you. Even though you guys can't be together right now because somebody clearly needs more time. They're very proud of the progress, perhaps, or the work that you've done on yourself or something that you're doing in your life to pursue your goals, your dreams. Duality. Can we kiss and make up? Despite what's happened in the past and how things might have turned out to put you guys at a distance. If you guys were arguing and fighting, maybe that's why somebody needs a little bit more time. But the love is clearly here. And this is a desire to come back together. And then we've got abandoned. Please don't give up. So whoever walked out on the relationship, whether it was you, Scorpio, or your crush, this person doesn't want to give up on the partnership. And if you guys can get onto the same page and feel the same way and have the same vision, which I feel that certainly is possible, because with that twin flame connection, this is your other half of your soul, your true energetic counterpart, your mirror soul. You guys are mirroring each other. They don't want you to give up. 
on the connection. And maybe there's a part of you that doesn't want to give up either because you love them so much. They still love you too. So whatever issues you guys had encountered, there's a chance that you guys can overcome that. Okay, so let's add some tarot messages to this. And let's see what else needs to come through. This is my tarot teacher deck. Let's grab some additional insight here for this mini reading, Scorpio. It's beyond crush at this point. It's love. You guys aren't just crushing on each other. The desire, absolutely here. But it's gone beyond just that crush stage. You guys love each other, truly. Maybe you both need more time to figure this out. To be able to get to a point where you're ready to just sit down and talk. Okay, we have a reversed card here. Let's see what it is. We've got the Eight of Cups. So, Cups is your own water energy, Scorpio. In the upright, this is about walking away and leaving a situation behind. Which perhaps that's why you guys are not together right now. But it, it did come up in the reverse. So in the reverse, it's fear of change. It's fear of abandonment. Fear of loss. But it's also a card of giving two people the opportunity to try one more time. Giving it another go. And then you've got the star card. Picking up off of Aquarius. So there's still hope here, guys. As long as you believe and have faith that this is something that can come together and be restored, a path will be presented to you that you can take to find your way back towards each other. This is also a card of focusing on you. It's about self-care for you and your crush. In the meantime, your love, a wish can still manifest here. My feminines, you're coming through as this queen of cups. Someone who's emotionally stable, very compassionate. You as this queen, you are what your masculine desires, you know. They still care for you and want you. With that nine of swords, somebody is very anxious in this energy of fear, might be losing sleep, might be stressed out, might have gone through a bout of depression, just unable to cope during this time that you guys are not together, or just really stressed out over how things might have played out, because somebody clearly is apologetic here. I'm sorry that this is how things turned out. So something happened here, and it might have something to do with that five of wands of conflicts of competition and rivalry you guys were arguing there was a lot of tension here part of what it was that you guys were arguing about could have been infidelities or a third party situation but you guys are heading towards this energy of the six of swords where things are a lot calmer calmer waters this is a situation that is healing now or that's where you guys are headed this is a transition leaving the past behind overcoming the difficulties of a partnership, releasing past baggage and moving forward. That's what the Six of Swords is all about. So I feel you guys can get through this. And the love between the two of you is what's going to help this partnership to come back and to thrive once again. All right? So wrapping things up here, guys, with the Heart Space Oracle. This is another one of my self-created ones, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and grab some messages from here to wrap it up. Some of these messages could be from your crush, your love, or from you. Angels and spirit guides, please. Who's the chaser? And the runner now. So there could have been a role reversal here. So whoever was this introvert and needs more time could be the runner here. 
but maybe at one point in time there was somebody between the two of you who was more of the runner rather than the chaser. So I feel there is a role reversal between the two of you. I just want you to take me in your arms and hold me for an eternity. You should have fought harder for us. Okay, so maybe this is how you're feeling, Scorpio. That things played out the way they did because they did not fight hard enough for the partnership to survive. But what's indicated here, especially with the tarot messages, is that you guys can still come back together, releasing past baggage, letting the past go. A wish that can manifest here. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. It doesn't matter who came before you because no one will ever come after you. Wow. So those are the messages here, Scorpio. Whatever part of this made sense for you. I feel there's still a chance for you and this person to come back together. And it's clearly indicated here that they need more time. Use that time wisely in the meantime and focus on yourself. Or maybe it is you as well who needs more time. But the conversation will eventually present itself where you guys can create movement to move forward, start over. There's still hope here between you and this person, Scorpio. I don't think it's over. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this one, guys. And if you're interested in your own private reading, that info is down below. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much. See you next time.